What's up, guys? This is the only Ninja Wing Aviator Sun Superhero Hat bringing you another episode of Combat for Dummies here on the Modern Ninja Channel. Now, guys, this is going to be one of the most important videos, but also not a super active one. This is going to be over why it's important and how you can control your breath. Jess, what are you, why are you, why are you just playing in the grass like that? What? What? <laughs> the reason it's important for breathing is obviously because all humans need oxygen. We all need it to survive. We all need to breathe. And so obviously when you're doing, you know, extended exercise and extended uh, cardio, you need to kind of have that breathing pattern so that you don't overdo yourself. You don't, you know, you don't overextend yourself and you don't run out of energy too soon. R a lot of runners and swimmers have a breathing pattern that they stick to so that they can breathe with their stride or they're breathing with their strokes so that they can keep um, that energy throughout their entire race. Now it's the same thing applies to martial artists when they're going through fights or going through long forms. It is important that you know how to breathe in your form, in your fight that will help you outlast your form or outlast your opponent or whatever that case may be because guaranteed you might be a great fighter but if someone else can outlast you you will lose that's just how it works there's there's no if ands or buts if you cannot if you cannot keep up if you cannot keep up with how long your fight your opponent is fighting you and how long the fight's going then you're gonna lose, that's just simply how it is. And so with that said, practice at first, deep breath. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Practice getting that pattern of being able to slow your heart rate. I know a lot of times when people get excited, you make mistakes. When you get antsy, you get antsy and you make mistakes. Take a second, control your heart rate. Now. If you've been running, a thing you can do to practice this is run. When you go for your morning run or your workout, you go on the treadmill, whatever that is, get your heart rate going, get your get yourself breathing hard. And then when you're breathing hard, when you notice yourself breathing hard, take a second, see how quickly you can slow down your heart rate by breathing at a slow pattern. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. See if you can slow your heart rate down quickly and that will help you get better and better at controlling your breathing and controlling your energy. So that way you can recover from being tired a lot faster. The second reason is super important to learn how to breathe. And it's, this is actually the reason you hear martial artists key up or yell at, after doing certain moves like punches or stuff like that. Uh, I'm sure I've done it uh, on video at some point, but you see it a lot in competitions and traditional martial arts. The reason this is is because you need to breathe out your air when you get hit. It gets the habit of whenever you block or whenever you get hit or throw an attack, you're breathing out. So if you miss or mess up or trip and you get hit, you won't get the wind knocked out of you. And that's why it's important not to get the wind knocked out of you because have you ever had the wind knocked out of you? It sucks, like a lot. And if it happens during a fight, you're kind of screwed. So uh, it's gonna make that fight a whole lot harder for no reason. So simply taking, the, taking your attacks and taking your blocks as a moment to yell and get all of the air out from your lungs keeps you from losing your getting the breath knocked out of you and making it harder for you to win that fight and so when you're practicing breathe out as you do your attacks breathe out as you do your kicks um when if you were if so for some of you that follow me on instagram you've seen me at some of my testings for black belt and you've seen me at some competitions and you've heard me yell and key up and breathe all in those fights so I do it because it helps you should practice it because again it helps it is extremely important and it is one of the biggest things that separate seasoned martial artists and newbies that don't know what they're doing quite yet so if you want to get to that seasoned status of martial arts then definitely start breathing now I'm not gonna waste your time and continue even though I could talk about this 
four hours. I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, I might do a breathing part two on how to do kind of a meditation style, like kind of a centering and a focusing style of breath, but we'll get into that later. With all this said, if you guys like this video, definitely leave a like to show you some support and subscribe if you wanna see more. And if you wanna see a special video about a certain topic, whether that's in this series, in the fight like a superhero series, or uh, a weapon that I review, whatever that is, let me know down in the comments. Or if you wanna contact me directly at my Instagram, definitely check that out too. With all that said, thank you very much for watching. My name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja. And I'm out.